U Swahili call Portuguese Wareno, many, Mureno one, Ureno Portugal. When they came here they call us Mureno dark skin. Later in Swahili we sent to them back. Yeah? And inside we have got English and Scottish. They were collected around the island. So foundation of this fort is natural coral. You see that coral over there? It was a heap of coral, then it was carved out. Chief, the 3,000 people collected the country. Chipping out for three years. Yeah, two and a half acre, Jesus laying on his back. So the upper part is clay lime art with pieces of coral. So bottom side is the land surrounded by dry mold. Yeah. Now we are entering here under the right arm as a main entrance. But during Portuguese, it could be a black pipe there. There was small entrance like a window there. And near the sea, there was passages for outwork and inwork. This one opened by British when it became a first prison in Kenya during British time. look like on here. Yeah? And I want to give you a brief about this fort, then we started visiting the area. Yeah? Vasco da Gama, he was the first European to arrive here 1498, Portuguese explorer. But he didn't make a good friendship with Mombasa people. He stayed there at Natural Harbor for one week. Later he went to Malindi. Malindi is a town north of Mombasa, 120 kilometers up to today there in Malindi. There is a Vasco de Gama pillar, Portuguese graveyard and a small Catholic church inside. But Mombasa Natural Harbor attracted the foreign attention and the Turkish expedition have already built a small port here. 1589, the Turkish port was in the south of this port. Today behind State House near the sea, there is four corner ruined by the name St. Joseph Port. Yeah, some say Joseph, Turkish they say you save, me yeah. I say you sue for a kid. Yeah? So Portuguese stayed there in Malindi for a hundred years, but Vasco da Gama by 1514 went on his way finding India. The last captain of Malindi by the name Mateus Mendes de Vesconcelos, 1593 came back to Mombasa by the sea with nearly seven warships. They attacked a Turkish. After capturing that Turkish port, they came to start this foundation. Now Portuguese, they were regarded themselves as a representative of Christendom rather than Portugal. That is why when they were sailing from Portugal up to here in Mombasa, they were sailing under the flag in order of the cross. So because of that cross on their flag, they used to sail with, obviously, the name of the port chosen was Jesus. And the architecture of this port was Italian man, Giuseppe Battista Cairato. He was a chief architect in Portugal, station in India, Goa. So the architect, he made all that long sailing journey up to here, through Cape of Woodhope, South Africa. When he came here, he joined Captain Mateo Mende, the last captain of Malindi, who became the first captain of Mombasa. 3,000 people collected countryside, chipping out for three years, two and a half workers. Then this port is military architecture. Here is outwork near the sea. Chest captain house, commander's version, and the two passages underneath for outwork and inwork. Heaps. 
parapet each side, each side at the bottom is a dormitory for sailors to sleep. Today in the left is the museum, this side is a restroom. At the center stomach there was a chapel. The room flat on the ground over there. Yeah? And the chapel in quarter and the water storage tank. Seasonal rain from the roof of the chapel, drainage system storage in here for their uses. And in both legs they were room they used to live, bottom here. Today this side there is a small door, it is a store. This side is a computer office, later Omani Arab building on top. Huh? That is the architect. And in the left leg, you see by far there, there is a new building there, small gate over there. Okay. The new building in 1959 is a curator office, big boss of the museum. And the old looking inside there by far, that was a magazine for explosives. Today is the archaeologist department. Yeah? Yeah. Mombasa, they went to seek reinforcement in Omani to check to get a help because they were very strong killers. After six years, Omani troops arrived here. They lay siege. Two years, nine months, no Portuguese could go outside. More than 74 Portuguese, those remained inside here, they died from starvation and plague. There is a skeleton I'm going to show you in this right leg. And in the left side here, there is that almond tree, you call it Badam. On the right side, there is four corner grass with three stones. That was a mass grave. The only remained was seven sailors. Arab came here with mangrove local ladder. When they came here, Portuguese invited Arab inside this top room. See, now it's education office. On top there at the main entrance. It was a gun called a store, but Portuguese tell Arab there is a chest of gold and jewelry. I've turned it to you over, then you decide to kill us, how to leave us living. When they went there, they blow themselves. No one came out. So Arab take over from Portuguese like that. Then British arrived here 1818. 1820, they built the base opposite the old port there. 1895, there is a British flag in the left as a strategic area to Indian Ocean. So from uh, Bumbaku, Tanzania up to Somali border became British protectorate against Abu Saidi dynasty of Zanzibar. So British started here as a garrison and when they formed British government here outside there, it was the first prison of Kenya. Up to 1959 when they built the Shimulachewa prison north of Mombasa, a hole of a rock fish. They removed prisoner to modern prison. They started renovation. 1960, before independence, they opened to the public as a national monument. So that was a brief about this in Gome Yeso, Fort Giza. Gome is a fort inside Yeso is Giza. Welcome for more, eh? Form of head of a fish, one eye, equal with two heads. How to rule this world, one controlling this side, one controlling this side. And this is more element of King Philippe Lion and these are named him Castor, the Pharaoh. So this coat of arm, they are still ruling this world. This, uh, we are going to look at the passage under that captain quarters. So this stair we are using today. When Princess Margaret of England visited Mombasa 1954 to build those tasks at the center, yeah, this was a special stair for her up down there. Before it was that passage was going straight. So she passed under two tasks originally. Then they made those four aluminium as a letter M. That is Mombasa, Margaret, and MacDonald. He was a Scottish governor here early 50s. Our, our, was our governor, not food, yes? Yeah? People should come there, then look to the head, they bring in the whatever by this passage. This stair here added just 20, like 19 years back, to help party people like me before they were falling down here. Yeah? yeah, now let's go down there to look at the nation store. <laughs> They were being there. 
they were zero. So when British made bombardment in 1873, yeah, everything went like that. Even the chapel at the center was blown down at that time by Royal Navy ship HMS Nassau, HMS Barracuda. Yeah, they were the one who bombarded Fort Jesus. If you have learned 45 minutes war, Zanzibar, headquarters of King Sultan, bombard Brass Fort Jesus. That is the time missionaries came to Mombasa. Huh? And that front wall outside there, you see from the bottom up to that weight level, it was 27 meters. Then Araba, they added 3 meters, it became 30. When we go there, I will show you the map. Yeah. And inside here, this was ammunition store. Yeah. Natural coral, it was chipped out as an ammunition store. During Arab period, also it became a slave camp. Even a chief Kibui of Wakamba, when he used to bring Wakamba selling ivory, that is 1856. They were kept here before entering the ship. Mm -hmm. Sent to where? South America. Seven countries of South America. Some from East Africa, some Central Africa, Northwest Africa. Because lobby, they were building South America, Ecuador, Argentina, and other area there. <clears throat> so, and during English period, the when they built it was a prison. Those criminal African waiting to be sentenced slept here as a cell. Yeah. Mwamba. Mamba in Swahili, reef, coral reef. The name came from Ibn Battuta, explorer from Morocco, who visited this area 13th century. He called it Mambasa, coral island. Yeah. I have this angle here, this part of the arm, elbow, who came under the right arm. And this angle too is the right shoulder. Now we're climbing the chest, Captain House, Commander's Basel. Oh, wow. In view, first capital of Kenya, those houses with wooden balcony and rusted roof. And Mombasa originally grew from north, coming to south near the sea. Now there we have got three architects of those houses. On your left with a balcony and the two double rope. Those are Indian architects. Indian, they're the one who started building bottom business on top living. You say upar makan, niche dukan. In Swahili we say duka. Uh, makan, we say makao. Our language borrowed from outside many words, yeah? And the fourth house under restoration there. That is typical Omani Arab house, Zanzibar. Mombasa, Aklamu, houses are decorated inside, outside ugly looking, they say, stone on African Swahili, ground house with coconut, 30 roofs, in Swahili, Makuti, and this is a British club nearby here, built by British during the Jubilee of Queen Victoria, green tiles, balcony up to down the sea, members only, but today any fatty wallet can go there. If you view from here any moving object and anyone coming from Indian Ocean. And that one is looking for urining also for fighting there. Yeah. So these are what you are going to watch there. There is not a hollow to look outside. If you see fire, you tell us. Yeah. See this triangle? Added. This bottom is Christian obelisk. Arab they added minerals. Yeah. Yeah. Here nearby at the bottom. So before the water reached here, but five years back they have built that wall to protect this heritage from ocean erosion. Also it will be like a park. And the 15 meter near the bank there, there was a Portuguese ship sunken there by Umani Arab worship. 
the name of the ship was Santa Antonio de Tana. It was coming from Lagos Port, Lisbon. Then British 1977, they made a diving wreck. Many things collected there. You are going to look inside the museum. Yeah, the one we went first is the chapel and this one. In the left elbow Arab removal dome, it remained a minaret. You look at that window. Yeah. See, we're heading there. Arab removal dome there, it remained a minaret. <coughs> and those uh, tile roofs behind the minaret and the big tree, that was a governor's quarter, today's Swahili culture center. And this white and blue strip house, that is a fiber optic seacomb. 17 years back, an internet wire to the sea heading to Arab Emirates up to India. Predicted by Prophet Muhammad, now scientists are doing it. Yeah? facing very strategic area, very strategic area. Anyone from Middle East up to India could be seen coming from North. South, Dar es Salaam, Zanzibar, Mozambique, up to Cape of Good Hope. So Vasco da Gama came from South, heading to India. That is North of Mombasa by bridge. South of Mombasa is the very west coast of Mombasa is island, Kisiwa in Swahili. Those are navigation pillars. Today we use modern light, red, green, there are so many up to deep sea. And map of 19th century, this is English channel, that side is English point. Going back on those green wall, deep tree, well, that is a first president Kenyatta house. Then there is Nyali Estate, Nyali Beach, up to North Coast Beaches. As from the Holy Book, carvings, and these are symbols. The words it say, Verily, we have given to you a clear victory. In the Quranic, Inna Fatahna Laka Fatan Mubina. Bila Shaka to Mekupa Ushindi Ulvairi. And the symbols, these are first prayer in the morning, Muslim and God on twice. Middle of the day, four times. Entering of midnight, three times. Five pillars of Muslim. And that side is six pillars of Iman. And these are additional of Indian. Those Indian who came here to build the railway, they are back at home up to today, maybe town and villages, elephants strolling in town. So they used to put metal or bronze bigger than this, sharp, when the elephant go near each other. Yeah. The wall is plaster and I used to draw with red and carbon oxide material mixed with iron ash. Now, uh, unknown seller draw this. That is the cross they used to sell with. The name for Jesus comes from that selling cross. And that is why people of Mombasa refuse Vasco da Gama. Hi, you see this is the cross and that is the cross. Which is which? In history, that is Crusade Cross. By that time, south of Spain, under Lucia Grenada, many Muslims they were praying. Yeah, by that cross. If you take one corner, you put a wood, it becomes Roman axe. So Muslim under Lucia Grenada, they were killed for almost seventy-two years. Also, French Revolution, seventeen eighty-nine, many Catholics were killed when lobbies want to put secularity. So that is a cross people of Mombasa refuse, but in Malindi they were given a welcome. Up to now there is a Swahili saying the enemy of Mombasa is at Malindi. Yeah, original Portuguese ship, Arab Adar, Portuguese soldier, Turkish. So back on the name of the ship, Lemos is the famous son name in Portugal. Scripture of man are in God. Crucifixion cross, flood, dog, fish, ships, like a chameleon. Long time changing color. 
cathedral with a cross, and that is a sacred heart of Jesus Catholic. But another sailor went there and put the arrow, it became injured heart, no more love. Third sailor went there and put eggs, it became broken heart. This room we are, this was the audience room to that captain house during Portuguese. When Omanis captured this port, they made a meeting place where people meet. Barzat, Baraza in Swahili. Uh, and these are the Arab clan who seek British protection against Abu Saidi of Zanzibar. They are the one who welcome British. You see this clan? Even ten years back, one scholar of America dead came to be buried here. He was by this clan of Mazrui. Yeah? <clears throat> and all these letters, you see, brought you eighteen years back from Omani. Yeah, all this. And the old world remained in that one. British made, but Arab, yeah? Mona <laughs> These are rhinoceros skin as a shield, fighting the sword. That is Daga Arabic Khanjar. Remember, this is the headquarters of Sultan Bargash. Yeah? Zanzibar and Britain, that is a good history to take. So that is the diagram of Portuguese ship, yeah? This is our old model of transportation. Wooden made, tied with a scissor rope, and the nail had wooden bone. And that is the, the model of that ship sunken outside there. 1698, Santa Antonio de Tana, and all this item collected there. Yeah. See, these are the one who brought us local wine before we were not drinking wine. You see, in Swahili we say vino, they say vino. Yeah. All this collected there. You see, silver gun, glass case bottles, olive jars. <coughs> these are Swahili drums. Australian <coughs> drum, but you borrowed from Scottish, yeah? yeah? This is a chair made in Indian Portuguese style of carving. So me, I come from this clan. See, there is Muhammad. Mataka is a Bantu name. Famao is a Bantu name, Mubarak. These are the Arab who married Bantu 7th century. Yeah. These are historical sites, yeah? 550 kilometers. Mombasa is there for Giza, first European base, uh, up to border Somalia. These collected in different rooms, kept in different century, 9 up to 19th century. And mostly are locals and Chinese. Iran, who came via the soldier during some time. 